Hey everyone, it's Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. I'm finally doing another doll clothing tutorial video. You guys always ask for these and I don't know why I haven't made more, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute butterfly top for your dolls. Now, I don't know if it's just me or if this has been going on for a long time, but I've recently noticed that butterflies on like tops are really popular right now. I don't know if I'm wrong. You can correct me in the comments and let me know. But I just thought it's a really cute look and I wanted to recreate it in miniature. Now, before we get on with today's video, I want to remind you all to please hit that red subscribe button because 90% of you aren't subscribed that are watching my videos. So please do subscribe. It's free and it really, really helps out my channel. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So for the main part of the top, I have a little pattern here and it's five and a half inches by one and three quarter inches. And this is just gonna be my pattern for the piece of fabric for our top. Now, I'm gonna be using a white cotton material. I actually usually like to use more of a stretchy material when it comes to making doll clothes, and cotton is not very stretchy at all. The only reason I'm using cotton for this project is because when we're actually putting on the little butterfly design, if the fabric is too stretchy, it would break or just tear apart. So that's why I'm using cotton. So with my pattern, I'm just going to trace around it on the fabric. And then I'm gonna cut this out. Now that we have this piece here, I'm gonna hem all of the edges, folding it over about a quarter of an inch. Now for this step, you could use like fabric glue, you could hand sew it, Personally, I'm gonna use a sewing machine because it's just the quickest process and that's just what I prefer to use. So when I start to hem one of the edges, I like to start by going back and forth a couple times to lock the stitch in place. And then I just stitch down this side. So now that we have our piece all hemmed nicely, we can get to the exciting part by adding the butterfly. So I just printed my butterfly from online and I had to shrink it down a lot. I think I shrunk this down to about 4%. Um, but it depends on the butterfly picture you choose. Um, as you can see, it's just a really tiny little butterfly. If you don't have like a printer, if you have a little sticker, that would work probably. Or if you just want to try to like draw it out, that would probably work too. But I find this way is easiest for me because I do have a printer. So I'm just going to cut this design out very carefully. You want to make sure you don't accidentally cut through the butterfly. So take your time. You have your very tiny butterfly cut out. And if you're doing it on a white fabric like how I am, it doesn't really matter if there's a couple white lines because you won't notice it. But once you have it cut out, then we're going to put it onto the top. So I'm just gonna be using a little bit of tacky glue and it seems to stay on pretty well because I did one top before this one and it has not even budged. So I have faith in this. It's basically like a fabric glue. So basically any kind of fabric glue um, would work, I'm pretty sure. I just like to use tacky glue because that's what I have on me. And then I'm just going to glue the butterfly onto pl into place right in the center of the top. So you might want to take your ruler to measure and make sure that you are putting it in the exact center. And when I glue on the butterfly, I'm actually not going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to put it a little bit up near the top of the top. So I'm just going to add a very thin layer of tacky glue, making sure I get right up to the edge on the butterfly because I don't want any little edges poking out because that's how it would most likely come off. So I'm just putting a little bit on and then just spreading it around with the nozzle of my glue bottle here. And then I'm just going to glue it in place. Luckily, tacky glue takes a little bit of time to dry, so you can kind of adjust it before it dries. So it should look something like that. And I give that about 20 minutes or 30 minutes to dry. Next, I'm gonna cut a small strip of Velcro, 
that is about the length of the width of the top. So now that the butterfly is dry, I have my Velcro here. And um, the Velcro I have has a sticky adhesive, so I like to stick on that before I sew just to keep everything in place. And I'm just going to be putting the Velcro on the very edge here. So one is here, and then the other one would go over here. And then I like to sew them in place. Otherwise, the sticky adhesive can come off really easily. You could like hot glue it on, but I've just learned over time that the hot glue really just falls right off. So I would recommend sewing it. Again, hand sewing, sewing machine, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna sew the Velcro in place. Cut some pieces from this elastic cord. It's pretty stretchy. And I'm gonna cut them about two and a half inches long. I'm just going to use some tacky glue to glue one end of the elastic onto the top of the top in the back. And this is about two inches from both sides. So I'm going to glue another one over here, two inches from this side. So basically it's about a, an inch between them. And then you're gonna give some time for those to dry. So once these are dry, I'm going to measure about half an inch from both sides of the top. And that's where I'm going to glue the other ends of the elastic so that it'll go over the doll's shoulder. Now you can also test this before you actually glue it in place to make sure that it'll fit nicely. So personally, I'm gonna cut my elastic a little shorter. So then I'm just gonna put some glue. So I'm gonna glue the end, other ends of the elastic half an inch from the edges. You're gonna want, wanna let those dry for a while. Once the elastic is completely dry, it is finally time to put the top on our doll. So just slip your doll's hands through the elastic and then pull it up and Velcro it in the back. And now you have an adorable little butterfly crop top. I honestly think this top is just so cute and it can honestly be something more fancy or really casual as well. So overall, I just think it's so adorable. And like I mentioned earlier, the butterfly stays on so well, surprisingly with the tacky glue, like it doesn't seem like it's gonna budge anytime soon. And if you use fabric glue, then it is flexible so that it can actually bend a little bit. So that is also a plus. So overall, I am just really love this top and I hope you guys like it too and give it a try. If you guys do recreate this top because it is super easy and basically anyone can do it, make sure to tag me on a post on Instagram at underscore delightful dolls and I'll make sure to check that out and I'll be so happy to see it. Also, if you guys want more sewing videos, maybe something a little bit more complex, Whatever you guys want, let me know in the comments down below because they are actually really fun and enjoyable for me to make because I do love making doll clothes. So before we end today's videos, the shout outs for today go to Dolly Nader, Ethel's World, and So Crafty. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Remember, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad if you want a chance of getting a shout out in next week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy and try recreating these doll tops. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.